What's up guys? So we got the new DV-1S to try out. You guys know that I did a video a couple of weeks back on the uh, Smart Gun, the original Prolite S. Well, this is the new one. This is the uh, DV-1S. So this is the 1.0, just like this other one here has. And you guys know that I sealed a job with it a couple of weeks ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, go back and check that one out of the Prolite S. Really a good gun and uh, I really like that one. So I was really interested in seeing how the newer version is, if it's any better or if it's just a cooler looking gun. So definitely feels better in the hand. It's got more of a newer modern look to it. So we got a job here, a Corolla. New bumper, new trunk. We put a rear body panel in this one here and we're blending the quarters on it. So we'll go ahead and seal with it. See what this thing will do and see if it's any better than the older model, the uh, Pro Light S. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so you've seen that sealer gun and this one here definitely has a bigger fan than the old Prolite S. It's got a way bigger fan. I actually ended up turning this thing in about five turns in on the uh, fan and the fluid's wide open on it, but the fan is unbelievable how big it is for a small gun. And it definitely breaks up the sealer a little bit better than the uh, older Prolite does because it must have some of that same DV1 technology. A little bit slower, but definitely makes a beautiful sealer and it uh, laid it out really nice. So definitely a good gun for the uh, sealer. And this uh, here Sherwin-Williams recommends using a 1.0 for their primers anyway. So this is perfect for what they recommend and it really works well with it. So one thing I have to say that I do not like about it as much as the older gun is, it's a little bit smaller of a gun and the trigger on this thing is tiny. It's got a real small trigger on it. And to me, it almost feels a little bit chintzy compared to the older one, but it definitely looks nice, works well, and is a good gun. I'm gonna grab the other one and show you the difference between the triggers. All right, so here's the guns next to each other and you can definitely tell that it has the old school trigger on it, the big trigger. I like the way it has that bigger trigger. This one's a lot smaller and you can barely fit your fingers around it, but this one here definitely looks a lot cooler looking because it's got that DV-1 look and that modern uh, space age kind of look to it. But to me, I kind of like the way the uh, older one feels better in your hand 
because it's got a bigger body to it. But the head on this one is definitely bigger on the DV1 than on the older one. It's got a smaller head with a bigger body where the DV1S has a smaller body with a bigger head on it. So I'm not sure that that's maybe why it atomizes a little bit better than the older gun, but definitely a nice gun. And uh, I appreciated uh, him letting me try it out to demo it. So if you guys are in the market, definitely not a bad choice for a minigun if you want to get the newer updated look for the DV1S. So I hope you guys like this video, just a short little one. I got to finish up this job here, 1F7. I'll show it to you guys finished up here in this video and uh, let me know what you guys think of it all done, but definitely a great gun if you guys are in the market for a mini one. So see you on the next one.